hi guys welcome back to my channel first of all look i finally found the energy to color my hair i didn't think my granddaughter my baby granddaughter was going to recognize me with dark hair but she did <laughs> so today's video i want to share with you some products that i have been loving lately most of them are old favorites that i've had in my collection for a while and i have rediscovered there's a couple of new products but not many most of them are like i said things that I have repurchased and I also want to share with you an empty um, I purchased this a while back this is a bye bye under eye eye cream from it cosmetics and I did use my entire little pot and I normally don't do empties because I don't like holding on to my things once I empty them I, I just throw them out or I don't I don't even think about it and throw them out but this is what I wanted to share with you I don't feel like this did much to my under eye um i did finish it because i mean i did pay the money for it i hated to throw it away but i always felt like i had to put something extra with it uh for during the day it's probably not bad because it wasn't that heavy but i like something more emollient um at night and i always had to use this which i love i've gone through several of these sticks this is from tula and this is a glow and get it cooling brightening eye balm and this is so so good and i mean when you put it on it does feel cooling it's not something super cold but it does feel cooling it is very um hydrating and it feels amazing under the eyes i also use it sometimes during the day especially if it's on a day that i'm not going to be wearing any makeup i'll put this on first let it sink in and then i put some eye cream on top but this is so so good i do use it all over my eye the eye area but um there's one also that comes in a pink package that is um glowy and i don't like it it's too glowy it almost looks like a highlighter i got it one time it was offered through boxycharm and i ended up getting rid of it because it looked like i was wearing full-on uh, highlighter under my eyes and i definitely don't like that look so this is something i will not repurchase again now again we all have different skin types and it may work for other people i don't have dry under eyes um i feel that they're normal but with this i just felt like if i used it at night i just felt like in the morning my under eye felt drier than usual so you know i know what my skin feels like on, on the normal so i stopped using it at night and only used it during the day like under my makeup but then i always have to use this with it so i just wanted to give you a heads up on this okay so some of the things that i have rediscovered this is one of them i wore this on a um video that i didn't use this on the video because the video was about something else and several of you told me what how beautiful my skin looked and this is such a good foundation this has a pump this is a number seven lift and illuminate lift and illuminate triple action serum foundation it has spf 15 this is you can get it either on the number seven website or on amazon i will link the amazon link they used to carry it at target but now the only thing i think the only thing they carry for number seven is like skincare i don't if they even carry that but i think they do but they don't carry makeup anymore now number seven doesn't have a lot of makeup but this is a lovely foundation this is like a good medium and is and i actually have a good shade on this too i believe this is in warm beige it is not it's not matte but it's not super glowy that it's going to look super shiny on your face right now i just applied it it looks glowy but it's just it sinks into your skin it doesn't sit on your skin it blurs your pores a little bit this is beautiful and it is unscented and i totally forgot how much i love this foundation until I, the other day i said let me try something i haven't tried in a long time and i pulled this one out and it's like geez why have i not been using you you are so good a lot better than some of the high-end foundations that i use it says for best results blend on smoothly and evenly with your fingers sponge or brush uh, what i did was i you know tapped it on my finger kind of spread it a little bit with my um fingers and then i finished off with a brush beautiful absolutely beautiful and i love it another one that i went ahead and started using again is the l'oreal infallible 
bronzer i love this bronzer because it doesn't have an orange whatsoever i do have the foundation on and as you can see that looks pretty nice on my skin it has pretty good coverage i have this as a bronzer and also on my crease it's like very neutral and it's not super dark and i don't like my bronzers to be dark mine is in 200 fair pale i usually go for one of the lightest uh shades that they have i also rediscover my milani uh, highlighter I don't use highlighter all the time this is the 03 sun glow strobe light but this is so beautiful and it's like a baked formula but I have it on today and you can build it up if you like something that you know shows up a little more but I feel like Milani has really really good products and this is a beautiful highlighter so I totally love that Something that's newer to my collection, I probably had it for a couple of months. I got it when it was released. This is from M Cosmetics, and I really do enjoy M Cosmetics. This is a portrait mode refining setting powder and sheer. They only have one shade, and it is very light, as you can see, but I love this. I use it more or less like a, like a finishing powder because it is so, so light. It is... I mean like it's like a veil on your face I, I can use it under my eyes which is amazing and it doesn't build up or, or look dry so I just go when I'm finished with all my makeup I just go very lightly on my entire face and I set my under eye with it that's what I have today and I truly do love it and this is a beautiful beautiful compact if you want to carry this in your purse this is so pretty right I think it's gorgeous totally recommend it Okay, this is the blush that I received in Trend Mood Box. And this is from Winky Lux. I love this. I have been using this every day. This is so good. This is the Cheeky Rose Liquid Blush. And it's in the shade Noble. I really enjoy this. It's kind of, it's a beautiful, I guess like a pink. But to me, it has like a little bit of peach in it. It's so, so pretty. It blends so nicely. I usually put two dots on each cheek and then I blend it with a brush. Very beautiful. It dries down. It does. My face doesn't feel sticky and I don't have to set it with a powder on top. I think it has a nice wear time and it looks really, really pretty throughout the day. So I really do enjoy it. I also rediscover my L'Oreal in uh, Prime Lab Advanced Derm Primer geez it's up to 24 hour pore minimizer with one percent aha lha bha complex now i don't think that it gives me 24 hour pore minimizer i mean i've never worn it by itself i usually wear it under makeup so i remove it when i wash my face but i think it does a nice job of blurring your pores you know just as nice as a lot of the high end so i would de definitely recommend this i think this is a good one Okay, as far as mascaras, like I said, I changed my mind about this one. When I tried it the first time, I hated it. And now I absolutely love this mascara. I think it does a great job of separating, gives you length, gives you volume. And you, it lasts, it doesn't flake, it doesn't smudge, even on your lower lashes. This one doesn't smudge on my lower lashes. This is a beautiful mascara and it's not super expensive. I mean, it's like, I believe it's like $19, which is not cheap. But a lot of your drugstore mascaras are getting up there, so nice 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 all right something that i wanted to show you i for a while there all i before i started youtube <laughs> once upon a time i was very loyal to um lancome just about 90 percent of my makeup was lancome and um around christmas they were having all the stores are having all these deals i decided to try i don't like that their eyeliner that is a pencil that you have to sharpen I feel like it's very waxy and it's kind of hard to do like hair like strokes on your lap on your brows so i decided to try this one because the other one i had tried before it was um it was that one the one that you sharpen this is a brow defined pencil and i have it in medium brown number 11. this is a beautiful pencil okay i'm not going to take anything away from it i love it it does what i wanted to do it's like a cool brown which i really like if i get anything that's uh that it has like um it's too warm 
it makes my brows like a little it gives it like a little bit of a almost like a brown with a little bit of an orange i don't know i'd rather have a cool brown on my on my lashes and it has a little spoolie in the back um that is nice it's nice and thin which i like i prefer those smaller spoolies on the humongous one but then i decided to try the l'oreal one now l'oreal and lancome are owned by the same company i don't know who owns who but i know that they own they're owned by the same company this is exactly the same okay this is the and what shade do i have it brunette okay so i have it in brunette it's also a cool brown and if you the difference there is a little difference in the shade but the other one may i mean the l'oreal may have a medium brown to tell you the truth when i purchased it I didn't purchase it looking for a dupe for my Lancome. It was one of those things when I pulled it out and I says, wow, this looks exactly like my Lancome. And when I put it on, it is like my Lancome. I have one on one. I have the Lancome on this eye and on the L'Oreal on this one. And you can tell the difference which is which. They're absolutely both the same. This one is a lot, the L'Oreal is a lot less money. So I love this i mean if you love and you're loyal to um lancome i'm not saying this is bad i absolutely love this okay it's one that i use a lot but this if you're trying to save a little bit of money i think it's just as good and for less money i have been enjoying glossier lip products so so much lately and i have three different products from them this one was sent to me by a beautiful friend, the one, the same friend that sent me the Danessa Myricks Volume 5 eyeshadow palette. She sent me a couple of Glossier. This is called the HotCocoBomb.com. So I don't really care for the application method. This is a very thick product. And so you really have to squeeze for the product to come out. And when you put it on, I mean, it feels amazing on the lips and it has a very nice shade and it smells absolutely like you're drinking Swiss Miss hot chocolate. Okay. This is amazing. Now, I don't know. I don't think this, oh my gosh, I don't think this flavor or scent is available all year long, but I mean, the formula is amazing. I just wish that it was, I don't know, because I never go like this on my lips because I really feel like I don't have control. I always have to put it on my finger and then, you know, put it on my lips. But this is amazing. I don't even mind going through the extra step of using my finger because this is so, so good. It lasts a nice time for being a balm. It doesn't get goopy, it doesn't get sticky feels very hydrating and moisturizing on the lips. I absolutely love this. Okay, another one that they have, this is the Generation G lipstick. And again, this is so, so beautiful. And this is another one that is like a, like a tinted balm, but it's in this kind of form. And that is so, so pretty. Now I feel like the balm, the, this one, it's more hydrating than this one but I mean if you prefer something like this that is easier to apply or reapply you know this one is really really nice it's beautiful and it has beautiful shades this one is in the shade cranberry and then the last one that I have this one is in the shade is no it's also cranberry so I, I guess it's the line is suit and this is more of a like a creamy matte lipstick but again it's beautiful and as you can see they're both the same shade but they, they look different the other one this one looks more like a blotted lip than an actual lipstick and then guys i have been loving these lip liners these are the ones from um shop miss a these were a dollar 88 I'm wearing this one right here, which is called Moon Shoes, and I'm wearing it all over my lips. I'm showing it to you because, as you can see, it doesn't look dry. You know, it has a little bit of a shine. It looks like a full-on lipstick, and it's long-wearing, very comfortable. It feels like I don't have anything on my lips, and it looks beautiful with a lip gloss on top by itself or with you know like a lip oil or something or 
So I'm going to try, I'm going to put a little bit of this on so you can see what they look like. But those lip liners are so, so good. Okay, I put a little bit of this one, the cocoa one, because I absolutely, it doesn't taste like chocolate, but it smells like chocolate. It smells just like Swiss Miss. Amazing. Okay, this is newly discovered for me. This is a brand that I never tried before. It's called Make Beauty. This is a multi-chromatic metal reflecting eyeshadow dust. I have this, one of these, on my eyelids today, and I'm wearing it with this on in my crease these eyeshadows I had taken them out of the basket i want to do a video with the products that i have from make but i wanted to show you this this one is the shade this one is dream dust and if you use your fingers look at that look at that this is what you get if you use your finger now i used a brush and then i kind of dotted a little bit with the finger because I wanted it to be a little more um, subtle but these are gorgeous and they last all day they don't feel like a cream but they don't feel like a powder it's like a combination this one is in quartz this one is absolutely stunning look at that this one is stunning they are so so pretty so this one you have to, the only place I found them is on their actual website. And I will link them below, but I also have uh, some liquid blushes, lip products. So I want to include them in um, Get Ready With Me. But I just wanted to show these to you now because I have really been wearing these a lot. They are amazing. I mean, the, oh my gosh, they're so pretty. But I tell you, they're, you know, they are pricey. So Moira has some amazing ones that are very similar, okay? So maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do a comparison of the Make Beauty and Moira. All right, you guys. So this is all I have for you today. Thank you so, so much for spending some time with me. If you're new to my channel, thank you. I appreciate you being here and your support. Please make sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. And leave me a little comment. Let me know if you have any favorite products this month or something that you would like for me to try that you love. All right, guys, I love you, and I will see you on my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.